Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. So let's get started. Lots of wrap snacks to try today, which is exciting. I do love wrap snacks. But I'm going to get started with this planter's mix today. And this one is new. It's planter's nutty snap mix wasabi honey. Yes, lots of yummy looking things in this mixture. There's Mr. Peanut with no pants once again. Far out, you'd think he would have found some pants by now. But then again, he is a peanut. But then again, he's wearing a top hat and shoes. Nothing in between, hey. He's kind of creepy when you actually look at him, isn't he? If you could tell that coming at you in the dead of night, you'd run for your life. There are wheat squares in here. There are also wasabi crispy coated peanuts, honey roasted peanuts, garlic sesame sticks. One, two, three, four things in here. By holding up four fingers, no, I'm doing five. It comes in a Ziploc bag. Have a look in the bag. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, they're green. I'll get some out of my hand and show you. All right, oh, wow. That's like a green salt-like thing that's now on my hand. Yes, I'm happy about that. Four different bits and pieces to try out of here. Let's try the sweet square first. There it is. I mean, it looks a little bit cardboardish, but it smells good. Whoa! Wow! Yum! The wheat square is very plain tasting, but then you've got that lovely salty wasabi stuff that's going all over it, so it makes it nice. This one's the honey roasted peanut. That's good. Oh! Mm. It's a lovely little peanut that has this coating on the outside which is quite crispy and it's got a little bit of sweetness from the honey but then you can also bang taste that pop of the wasabi in there. Garlic sesame stick. Oh well that bit is good. That needs its own bag. That alone just is amazing but it tastes nice with all the bits of things in the mixture. Oh yum. Suddenly I've got that taste of sesame seed. Very tasty. Nice. That's the nicest stick I've had for a while. Now I feel like this is the star of the show here because this is the crispy wasabi peanut. Oh that is amazing. Oh that. I love it. Mmm, 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 mmm. The wasabi in this mixture isn't too hot. It's just there to give you that nice punch of heat. And all the little different elements in it belong in the bag. You know how sometimes there's some in there where you go, no, you don't belong. Even this little wheat square that looks like cardboard does belong in it. I don't mind the cardboard in this. Mm. It goes nicely with everything. And then you get those little sesame, I can't stop eating it. <laughs> Very delicious. And um, I'll leave your hand green, which is a plus, isn't it? Next up, I'm going to try some wrap snacks. And I do love the wrap snacks. They're full of flavor. Lots and lots of flavor. Very salty, usually, which I like. This is sour cream with a dab of ranch. Now, when people are dabbing, they're usually sneezing into their elbow. Who knew that was going to be a thing, hey? It's like they saw the future. Sour cream with a dab of ranch. Migos flavors potato chips. Dabbing is a lifestyle. Yes, it is. Well, it is now. Yes, that's them on the back. Don't ask me any rap questions. I can't give you any answers. Sometimes I listen to rap because it's on the radio, but I've got no idea who sings it. I think, oh yeah, that's that song from those people that I don't know. <laughs> because I'm old. Have a look. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're thin crispy potato chips or crisps. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's funny because usually sour cream and ranch, I consider them enemies and you don't usually see them together, but here they are together living in harmony. I like both flavors. I do, but it's just unusual that you get them in the same. You know what I mean? Do you think they're mortal enemies or is this just something I've made up in my head? Mm, mm. The flavour is really nice and creamy. It's got that nice little tiny bit of tang in there as well. Nice amount of salt. Very crispy. Love them. Time for a beverage break and today I have a coffee. This is from the Perfect Potful Coffee Masters. It's probably not but it does look like Indiana Jones is on the cover there. This flavour is Irish cream. It makes the perfect pot full of fresh roasted coffee every time. That's quite the guarantee, isn't it? Oh, yes. Mm -mm -mm. It smells really delicious. 
For those of you who don't like coffee, let me know if you like the smell of coffee. Some people like the smell of it but don't like the taste of it. Got my trusty coffee percolator today. Oh, I'm sure you're all happy to see that. Have I got a spoon? I'm out of habit. I'm just going to guess the amount because I've been making coffee for a long time now so I should be able to work it out, shouldn't I? Pour some coffee in. See, when you're as old as I am, you've gotten to that stage in life where you can guesstimate things. For those younger ones out there, there's something to look forward to for you. Off you go. Meanwhile, let's try something else. I'm going to try some emerald honey glazed almonds next. Got a little tear thing there. It's amazing how many nuts there are out there in the world. They feel stuck together. Yes, they are. Oh, got a beautiful looking glaze on it. nice these are nice they're not like amazing I, would i get them again oh maybe yeah i think i would like they're not something that i'd say well wow, honey glazed almonds from emerald gotta get these one but they're nice because i don't know if i'd necessarily get them over other nuts or other almonds but they are very nice the almonds themselves are really good quality as well and the glaze is quite nice and sweet i've got two wrap snacks next and they're both from icon Notorious big cookout barbecue sauce potato chips. Yes, and honey jalapeno. I like what it says on the top there. We can't change the world unless we change ourselves. So we're going to go through them. <laughs> Did you know that Notorious Big's name is Christopher Wallace? That's a very posh sounding name. I suppose you couldn't keep that name if you were going to be a rapper. Christopher Wallace sounds like he plays a grand piano or something, doesn't it? He might. Let's try this one. Okay, have a look in the bag, right down the bottom there. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, they're kind of orangey looking. Very nice looking potato chip, and they're nice and thin. Oh, wow. Mm. Um. I like aspects of this. Do you know what it is for me? That the honey is quite sweet in these. And then the jalapeno flavor is very bitey. Sometimes the spicy and the sweet goes nice together. But for me, it's like they're battling too much in this one. I mean, oh, no, they're nice though. <laughs> but very sweet. A lot sweeter than I was expecting. You don't just get a touch or a dab of honey in there. You get a whole pot full in there. If, but if you like sweet chips, then you're probably going to like these ones. They have got a nice little bit of salt in there as well, but predominantly they taste very sweet to me. Interesting flavour though. I'll add a dab of milk. I'm dabbing everywhere today. Mm. Let's try the coffee. Cheers. was really building up on the cup. I have a handle but for some reason I wasn't using it. Mm, it smells really amazing and it tastes really good too. Yeah it's not particularly strong coffee. I probably should have made it a little bit stronger I think. The flavour is really nice. The Irish cream flavour is good. Irish cream, cream flavour. It's a very mellow coffee I'd say. Mmm, it's got a pretty good flavour in it. I would have this one again for sure. Pot full of coffee, yes please. Uh, made by Indiana Jones. Mm, no, I won't do this next. I'm going to do this because I'm looking forward to it. This is a hers old-fashioned caramel corn. And there's a whole tub of it. How good is this? Sit there on the lounge with this and just make a disgusting pig of yourself. It sounds like a plan for me. It's old-fashioned hers caramel corn. Hers make a lot of lovely savoury snacks. Let's see how they go on their sweet snack. Don't you love the barrel that it comes in? <laughs> I did like it until I couldn't get the lid off. I know. Oh yes. Right, it's got the plastic seal on it as well. And uh, how do you get that off, eh? I thought it might have a little, you know, a little tabby thing, but it doesn't. Okay, if I can just get the edge of it. Oh, well, I'll just look at it, hey? <laughs> No, let's dab away at it. Oh, smells amazing. Look at how beautiful that is. Take a piece. You're welcome. Oh, that looks beautiful and golden, doesn't it? Mmm. Mmm. Hello definitely delicious. Look at those beautiful big puffy pieces of corn and the corn itself is nice and fresh. 
the caramel coating is good. The caramel coating on the outside isn't particularly thick, but at least it's coating the whole thing, which is good. And it's got a lovely flavor to it. Very nice. Mm. And um, the fact that it comes in a tub excites me very much. Time for some more wrap snacks. And this one is the notorious big cookout barbecue sauce potato chips. A cookout, I suppose that's just what, um, is that what you call a barbecue in America, a cookout? I guess that's because you're cooking out. Is that what it is? Now it actually has a little bit about the artist on the back there, which is great. So you can learn a little bit more about Christopher. Okay, have a look there. Mm. I think I'm gonna like these ones. Look at that. They've got like an orangey color to them and they're a lovely thin chip. Mmm, okay. I love these ones. They're lovely and salty and they've got that smoky barbecue flavor all the way through it. There's a little bit of sweetness on the back of your palate, but it's really good and it leaves salt on your fingers, so. You know how I feel about that. Yeah, look, honestly, I think I think these are my favorite, but then I also like these ones as well. Very nice. Mm. Gosh, I love chips. <laughs> I really do. Honestly, do you know how hard it is at the end of the night for me? I've, I've had dinner and then I go, you know what? I could fit some chips in. Of course I could. There's always room for chips for me and it's terrible, terrible. Thank you so much, John, for sending me all of these amazing things. I really do appreciate you sending and selecting all of these things. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. And if you like this video, please leave a comment or maybe give me a thumbs up. It just gives me that little bit of encouragement to keep going with my YouTube videos. And I really would appreciate that. And if you do have a favorite social media YouTuber that you watch, feel free to give them the thumbs up because it does encourage them to keep making content and it's free. A thumbs up is free. Not many things are free in this life. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. Have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.